Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna do a bulb change on that tank over there. Brand new 400 watt radium halides, 20,000 Kelvin. Let's get into it. All right, so don't mind the uh, arcade games there. Let's get over to the um, tank and have a look. You can see uh, that my tank here, it runs uh, five of the Kessel A360X lights, but I also run, and I have for many years now, these uh, 400 watt radium halides, and um, I absolutely love them. I love the color they give. 20,000 Kelvin in today's standards is probably considered fairly white, but um, it was only yesteryear that was considered about as blue as anyone would ever want to go. And um, I had them on for five hours a day between midday and 5 p.m. Now these bulbs here have been running in this uh, fixture for just a touch over uh, two years now. So they are due for replacement. Um, I, I like to say that they're good for two years at five hours a day or maybe one year at 10 hours a day. But uh, yeah, these guys have been going for about, uh, you're probably getting close to two and a half years. So I've just managed to come down to uh, my local fish store and um, pick up some brand new bulbs, which I'm super excited about because these things, you don't see them all that often. So when uh, you can get your hands on some, you definitely grab them. Now. For those who don't know, metal halides are a, um, a, an incredible light. They give off this beautiful shimmer that you see in the tank now, or you might be able to see. Yeah, you can see some of the shimmer on the um, coral and fish there. Um, they give incredible spread. They give spread like a T5 or like a really wide T5 fixture. They give off a beautiful color. They give off incredible intensity. The corals thrive under them. I don't know if you'll be able to see with the uh, phone camera, but... Uh, my SBS, my LPS, they all absolutely love it when the halides are on, so they are an incredible light. People say they use a lot of power. I don't know, I guess compared to um, modern uh, LEDs, I don't think they actually do use that much power when you have a look at how much wattage each LED fixture takes. And people say they give off a lot of heat, but um, I really don't uh, have too much issue with the heat. Um, I don't even run a chiller on this tank. I do love, do love, I do live in a very southern part of Australia where we don't get super hot, but uh, I just uh, run my... Uh, ceiling fan there and uh, on a really hot day I turn the um, air con over there and um, I can control that air con from anywhere in the world so if the room starts getting hot I turn on the um, air con and we're good to go but uh, one other thing I should show you about uh, metal halides if we can look down the scary back of my tank you can see in there I run uh, that's the two uh, ballasts and that's what takes the uh, voltage and then uh, makes it really high voltage that makes the uh, halides work but uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the power off to these two because um, they're going to be fairly warm. They've been on for a couple of hours now and um, I'll let them cool down. We'll take the fixtures off and we'll switch out into these uh, new bulbs. All right, so I've switched them off and I've um, let them cool down. The next thing I need to do now is uh, take the glass off because uh, one thing you need to know with metal halides is that the bulb itself gets really hot. The last thing you want is a splash of water hitting up and uh, touching that bulb because it will shatter the bulb. So our fixtures have these... Uh, sheets of glass on them um, which just protect that they also I, I believe they also have a uv radiation in that uh, protection in that glass but uh, i couldn't tell you much about that because i wouldn't be sure so all i have to do is slide that glass off i'll take that down because i'll give that a clean while it's off because i don't know if you can see that but it's pretty dirty and i'll just set that aside The next thing I'll do is I'll grab my um, uh, Kessel cloth here because you shouldn't actually touch whether it be T5s or metal halides or pretty much any other glass bulb. You should never touch that with your hands because if your oils get on the glass, it can create hot spots which then uh, will wear the bulb out quicker and uh, you're throwing money down the drain. So, plus the bulb could still be hot. Beautiful. All right. So now that I've got my bulb out, let's have a look. There it is, the bulb is still fairly warm. You can see they've got um, quite a few different elements and things in the bulb there, which is a bit weird, but uh, that's, that's what they are. So I'm gonna grab a new one out, pop it in there and uh, clean that glass, and that's one fixture done. All right, so I've got my new bulbs here. Just gonna open one up, make sure I get the screw in end first. Because again, you still don't want to touch that, um, you don't want to touch the uh, glass at all. So I'm just going to sit the new one there, as he stays still, get my old one, pop him in the box. 
And I do need to be careful because he is still fairly warm. Now, I'm gonna grab my new one here and uh, we'll pop it back up in that fixture. All right, so again, just using my cloth, being super careful not to touch the glass. Beautiful. Doesn't need to be ridiculously tight, but uh, it's screwed in. You can see the inside of my reflector is still nice and clean. Once I clean that glass up, we're gonna be looking good. Now jump on to do the next one. All right, I'm just gonna jump in and give these cover glasses a clean because um, you can probably see on the video, they're still pretty dirty. Not a huge amount really here. I'm using a, a home brand uh, window cleaner. People may say you should use RO or vinegar or whatever, but it doesn't really come in contact with your water. So it shouldn't be an issue. Just basically washing the, uh, the salt spray, I guess, the salt creep off um, the glass just so that as much light as possible goes through and uh, lights up my corals rather than cooking salt on the uh, glass. Just need to be careful, one edge of the glass is a little sharp. I should point out that uh, my halide reflectors are nothing uh, special. They're a, a knockoff of, I think, uh, one of the Lumen Brights or some other well-known brand. I'm pretty sure these are the uh, Fish Street equivalents. I bought them secondhand. I bought a set of like six of them for 50 bucks because people were throwing metal halides out at the time. I can't believe it, to be honest, because um, I, I think they're probably one of the best lights available for uh, hardcore SBS aquariums. Beautiful. All right, our glass is nice and clean. Let's get the uh, glass back on and um, fire up these new bulbs. One other thing I will show you while I got them out is uh, this one here is a used bulb and that one's a new bulb. You can see there's very little uh, difference between them. Um, you see this one's got a little bit more brown in it and this one's a little bit more black, but uh, you need to be careful not to get them mixed up because it would be very easy to confuse a uh, old bulb with a new bulb. Thankfully, this one's still warm, so I know it's the old bulb. Oh, in case you're wondering, when your SPS breaches the surface, it just grows algae like that. All right, only thing left to do now is to uh, fire it up. I run a uh, Wi-Fi connected uh, timer uh, for my halides so I can access it anywhere. I've just got my um, spare phone here. Fire it up, I'll hear those, uh, those ballasts give a nice little hum as they warm up and you'll see the uh, bulbs start off fairly yellow and then they uh, turn blue and crisp white as they warm up. So uh, the good news is they're both firing up. There's no defect bulbs there, happy days. And uh, we'll just watch the tank as it gets over into that beautiful blue, crisp, white look. All right, those metal halides are uh, warmed up. That's the beautiful color they give out, that beautiful crisp white slash blue look. Um, the tank's going to start thriving now that it's got some beautiful fresh halides in there. The old ones here have done their job, they're two and a half years old, so they started to lose a bit of spectrum, started to lose a little bit of par. So uh, they'll get retired off and uh, recycled and uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit more uh, SVS growth again in this tank. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any other questions, if you have any uh, feedback, be sure to pop it in the comments section down below. And uh, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up or a like. And uh, if you wanna see more like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again guys, till next time, bye.